As gardeners, we're often looking at items and seeing how we can use them in a different way than they're actually intended. And we're here at Habitat for Humanity in Stillwater, and we found a couple of different items that we think will work perfect for the garden. We've got some solid wood drawers here, um, and they're actually only a dollar a piece, so we're really excited about this find. There's a lot of different shapes to them. The one thing you want to look at when you are buying drawers or any wood to go out into the garden is to make sure that it is solid wood. You can hear by the sound that it is solid and also by seeing the grains of the wood. Here's a piece of particle board and this is what you want to avoid is particle wood because this will actually expand in the weather uh, and the elements outside. There's a lot of different ones with characters. Some have handles, some don't. So there's a clean front to these. What we're going to do is simply paint these to preserve them a little bit better and then drill a few holes in them to allow that water to drain out and fill it with soil and you have a raised bed. Now the other thing we found here that we're excited about is this dresser. It was only $8. It's got some doors on the front that we're going to have to pull those off. But these shelves will actually become dividers in the raised bed. Again, we'll paint this, we'll lay it on its side, drill some holes in the bottom of it, fill it with soil and it's going to make a perfect raised bed for us. So we have a nice selection of drawers here that we're going to use for raised beds and probably one of the biggest decisions you have to make is what color of paint you're going to choose. Um, we chose purple and yellow here, a little bit of a plum color and kind of a, a canary yellow. Um, purple and yellow are great complementary colors and we're excited about this combination. It'll add a lot of color into the garden. Now we've put our second coat on um, and it does have a primer included in the paint which is nice because you got a good thick cover on it to kind of finish off any of that wood that might have that waxy finish to it. Now after we've got our second coat done, what we're going to do is drill holes in the bottom of these. You want to make sure that you have plenty of drainage um, out of these raised beds. So we've already started this process and we're just going to finish this one drawer. So we've got our drawers and our dresser arranged now. Um, we put our largest piece right here in the center as a focal point and then flanked it with our drawers on either side. And what we've done is we've staggered our drawers. Uh, this allows us to give a little bit more height to the display with some bricks. We put these old landscape bricks underneath here and that supports this but we wanted to give it a little more stability so we used some landscape glue um, underneath these and so not only will the weight of the soil and the plant help hold this but also that will just provide a little bit more security. So the next thing we need to do is just fill this with soil. So what we've done here is we've filled our drawers with a combination of finished compost, some fine pine bark, and this helps with drainage, and then just some plain potting soil. So we've mixed all that up in here and we've got a really nice uh, media to grow in, one that will drain really well, and, and we've just got to do this a few more times and we'll be ready to plant this garden. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.